Hi everyone, so I thought I would show you me cleaning out the baby African lens now so you can see how big they are now. They are, let me think, December, they're eight months old, roughly, um, if, I'm, if I remember right, yeah. So they're getting quite big. Um, obviously, baby juniper is not eight months old, eight, juniper is younger, but... The others are about eight months old and they're getting nice and chunky now. Now, obviously, on this video, they don't look particularly massive, but they've gone from being like this, like being able to sit on my fingertip to they're about three fingers wide, like like the length of the shell and stuff. Like the one snail will fill quite a bit of the palm of my hand now, so they are getting quite big. Um, so if you look compared to my hand now and again, you can see they are getting quite big. Um, so they're doing very well. They've got nice, good quality shells. I haven't noticed anyone having the same problem that Theodore's got. So like I've got two there, you can see with the albino shell, that's Jade and Juniper. Um, their shells are lovely and smooth and there's no problems. Whereas by now with Theodore, um, you could see Theodore's shell was knackered um so that's good um everyone else seems to have quite good shells um we've got variations in like little stripy bits and colors and stuff um i'm still having trouble telling the big ones apart i just know that the two biggest ones are jimmy snail and oh what did i call the other big one oh, i can't think off the top of my head um but I know I've got two that are bigger than everyone else. Um, and then I've got, obviously, baby juniper, so the smallest. Um, juniper I did have in a separate tank to grow up a little bit. But she's not that far off some of the other snails, as you can see now. So I've put her in the tank and she's thriving. She's getting plenty of food. I do keep an eye on her. Um, and obviously, I put food all over the, ca all over the cage. So, um, you know, I know she's eating plenty. Um, what I like to do when I clean them out is I will give them their snail mix because um, I only give them the snail mix once or twice a week depending on what snail mix I use and I like to put, I put them around the tray like this um, and then they notice the uh, food and start nibbling and I also give them a little rinse off on their shells just to rinse off um, any calcium block that they tend to get all over themselves I rinse off any uh, poops or mud or anything that's on them just to check the shells and make sure the shells are nice and smooth and growing well and there's no problems. Um, you do have to be careful with them still at this age because when you pick them up, if you catch the where the, the, sh the shell grows on the edge, it's very easy to break it. So you do have to be careful. So it's important to... Um, either to not touch that edge of new growth um so i'll either pick if they're not stuck to something i'll pick them up by the main body of the shell like near the cone part not the tip um or pick them up by their body you know just scoop my hand under their body and lift them up um and as you can see um as soon as they realize the snail mix is in they start having a munch um, they do really like snail mix actually they eat quite a wide uh, variety of foods these do these eat more than my adult ones my adult ones eat quite a varied diet but these I find will eat all sorts like these will eat mushrooms and everything whereas um, the big ones are like no don't give me that that's disgusting um, the, one of their favourites is uh, kale and carrot and cabbage and obviously they all like cucumber but I just give that if I feel, feel they need a bit more hydration or I'll just give them that like once a week as a treat anyway um, and they do like that. Just make sure that they've got um, plenty of moisture in their food basically. You'll see on the left, I've got like a little dish and I do put a little bit of water in there, not deep or anything, but just a tiny little bit just to make sure there's a bit of moisture in there. Um, and obviously I'll put plenty of water in with the snail mix as well. They're not quite, like juniper definitely is not quite big enough to trust having like a, 
a deep water bowl or anything in the tank because obviously I don't want them to drown or anything, especially juniper. Um, but as they get bigger, they'll get water. So what I tend to do is this leaf-shaped dish is very shallow. So once they've finished the snail mix, what I tend to do is I'll fill this with water. Um, not obviously to the to the brim, but like I'll make sure there's like a layer of water over the whole thing and they drink that. Um, and as you can see, they've got plenty of cuttlefish bone because they do now eat the cuttlefish bone. Now they're used to it. Um, and there's also the calcium blocks I put in as well. So they've got a variety. And then I'll put their food all over the tank. Because um, when they're little, you don't want them roaming around all night looking for food. You want them to be able to find the food quite easily so that they don't waste lots of energy just walking around all night looking for food. Um, so... I'll put food all over every area of the tank um, and then by the morning they've pretty much decimated it. They do eat a lot and they are growing quite a lot. Um, so they're doing very well. Um, I'm quite pleased with their progress. Um, and obviously they will get, they're in a tank that's big enough for them for now, but they will get upgraded to like a full size uh, glass tank at some point. Um, I'm just waiting on a tank um, and then that will give them their room. But the, I haven't got to worry about the um, glass tank till they are roughly the size of Alvin, Simon and Theodore. So once they're pretty much their adult size. So for now, they're fine in this tank. Um, there is a lot of them in it. Um, so obviously eventually I could probably do with two of these just to give them a bit more space um but while they're babies and they're eight like i'm only showing you like part of the tank i'm showing you about half of it it is a lot longer um well i'm showing you about i'd say i'm showing you about two thirds not half um so they have got plenty of room to roam around they don't have to climb over each other to get to food they have got space um because obviously you don't want them to feel overcrowded um, but yeah, they're quite happy as you can see, and they're all busy munching their snail mix. Uh, even little Juniper is having a good munch. And yeah, I'm very pleased with their progress, so I thought I would show you what they look like. Um, and what I'll do at some point is I'll do a video where I show you like their sizes, like measure them and stuff. Um, just so you can see how well they're growing. These are growing um, a lot faster than, I'd say, Theodore or Rick ever did. Um, they've got about the same growth rate as Alvin. Um, yeah, Simon's a bit slow. So, yeah, but they've got the growth rate of Alvin, and a lot of these are Alvin and Rick's um, babies. Um, so I do think their growth is going to be quite good. I'm hoping they're going to get nice and big like Rick is. Because, I mean, Rick was slow growing, but he's quite a big dude now. Um, so yeah, they, I'm very pleased with them. They're very active. Um, so yeah, happy baby snails who are growing well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.